Hello everybody, welcome back to Freaking Up Live. We are watching today King of the Hill. This is the episode 4 of season 3 and it's called Pregnant Pause. So somebody, maybe a dog, is gonna get pregnant. It's not gonna be the dog that they own. I forgot the name of her, uh, Ladybird. It's not gonna be Ladybird because she's fucking... She's, she's, she's old, yo. I don't think she's gonna get pregnant. <laughs> she's going through menopause and all that stuff. It's already happened. It's gonna be somebody else's dog. We're gonna find out who's. If you're not subscribed to my channel, guys, please do it. Subscribe. We are very close to hitting 5,000 subscribers. So if you're new here, just hit that subscribe button because it's free. And that's a goddamn beautiful price. So if you're new here, do that. And if you want to watch the full length reaction with this episode and other movies and TV shows reaction that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my full length reaction videos over there. And now without any further ado, let's jump right into this. We're going to start in three, two, one. I can't have her spayed. I'm going to breed her one of these days. She's almost 13 years old. Well, can she get pregnant? All right, maybe she can. Found with just any old dog. That'd be throwing away seven generations of the finest Georgia inbreeding. <laughs> Very finest. Look at that. If you don't do something and fast, she's going to spend the rest of her life childless and lonely, soaking about the house in soiled underwear, like Bill. Oh, <laughs> why compare Bill? Oh, I feel bad for Bill. <laughs> Dang, if he didn't keep going another mile or two. <laughs> Ain't nothing keeps you sharp for deer season like hunting humans. What the fuck are you talking about, my G? Hunting human. Okay, America, guys. It's America. <laughs> this hunting humans. Do you need a license? <laughs> this has my license. Any man who skips hunter. out on his bail can be hunted like an animal, although not eaten. All you gotta do is sit through a four-hour training course. You're telling just, me there's a- You're telling me, okay, just a four-hour course and then it's legal to kill a guy. Fucking sign me up. <laughs> a legal police force that operates with few, if any, government controls. That's him. He loves it's it. It's about time. <laughs> like, no government and yet you still get to kill people and carry a gun? Fuck yes. I finally decided to breed her, and I was hoping one of your studs, uh... Whee! One of my boys finally gets to howdy ma'am the debutante. Okay, <laughs> he's excited now. Honored the first session, 400 each additional session, and please, no flash photography. What, what do you mean? You, he's gonna charge? Did he say $500? That's your friend or co-worker. You do it for free. Okay, let's all shut up, please. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, that's his favorite job. Holy fucking shit! No, we don't shit, have much time, so let's get right to it. No, we don't have much time, so let's get right to it. We'll find out if you've got what it takes to wear this hat and kill people. Oh, he definitely does. <laughs> Look at Luann's here. Seems like just yesterday, mom and dad brought her home for me. On account of me not having any brothers and sisters to play with. Do you remember it was 13 years ago? How old is he? That's them. Is everything... Oh shit. Hey <laughs> Bird Hill. It's time for you to get fucked. <laughs> Luann, take off her underwear. Oh, what the fuck? That is so weird. And why is he all dressed up? Even he's all dressed up. Make some hound dog. I'm late for a bachelor auction. 15 minutes to complete the ethics exam. Good luck and try to remember what I taught you. A, A, B, A, C. Uh, that, did he just tell them the answer? Congratulations, so, uh, class of... So you take a four-hour video course, right? And then get answer told by the teacher. And then you are qualified to kill a guy. Because you are the bounty hunter now. That's fucking easy. I love it. You may now call yourselves bounty hunters. There you go, from red to blue. I finally let my little girl start dating and I think... Start dating? She's old. Ooh, this place gives me the deja vu. What do you mean? Just like when we were trying to get pregnant. Oh. Yeah, I remember. Oh, look at Peggy! Doctor, is she gonna be a mommy? How do I say this without breaking your hearts? No. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What happened? Damn. <laughs> you break it, her heart. Peggy. I knew it. I'll never get pregnant. What is wrong with me? Peggy, no. This is not your fault. He's right, Mrs. Hill. There's no point in blaming yourself. It's Hank's fault. It's Hank's fault. With his narrow urethra. You were born with a narrow urethra. There you and go. And years of chronic tension have only made it worse. 
I really don't think you'll ever have children. Oh my god! Then how did Bobby came to be? That's I suspected as much when it took you 30 minutes to produce a urine sample. Hey, you want it done <laughs> quick or you want it done right? <laughs> 30 minutes the reef rock will disappear. <laughs> I can prescribe a specific series of sexual techniques. A series? Let's hear Are it. you suggesting I break the law? Oh, oh hot, please. What's the law? Only missionary? They mix your boys with one of my ladies in a test tube. Isn't that wonderful? No. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's science run amok. Oh, hi. They wanted how God intended it to be. Tested it on animals. Couldn't we decide? <laughs> no. It's wrong on humans and it's wrong on animals. I'm sorry, Peggy. I know you're disappointed, but that's just how I was raised. By my mother and father. Not a test tube. I think... Not a test tube, all right. I think her mother would have actually agreed with this. Sorry, Hank. Mr. Strickland better refund our $500. Oh, shit, he did took $500. God damn. It's Ladybird. She's too old? I'm afraid she's got a narrow uterus. Oh, no. Why does all this have to be something narrow in the Hank's family? Your things have happened. But no, she can't. Everything's narrow in the Hills family. That's pretty sad. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burden you. Oh, not at all. We were in the same situation with Buddy's mother. Turns out there's all sorts of things you can do. Like what? What? Diet. Uh, hormones. Body work. Surgery. There's a whole world out there. Wow. I, I want to know everything. Do you and your brother have time to grab a <laughs> beer? <laughs> brother? Brother? Sure. <laughs> I know They're not going to confirm it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and your brother. One hundred point seven. Wow, it's hot in the dog's head. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm charting Ladybird's temperature. I'm gonna pinpoint the exact perfect moment for her to mate. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> why, why is she angry now? Come on, Peggy. He had he had advice from a gay couple. You would never expect that from a from Hank. Never. Then I met some men. We went to a bar. And before it all went horribly wrong, what they told mean? me a bunch of things I can do to get Lady Bird pregnant. What do you mean horribly wrong? 100.4. She's ready for a stud. All right. Now? <coughs> We're going to bring the stud now. Strickland, I put him on the speed dial. Just press Peggy's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Arlen florist. I've got some long stem roses for Jimmy Hell. Bounty hunter, you said that on your cap. The guy's gonna run away, isn't he? Yep. I don't think you're good at the job. <laughs> Is Peggy having PTSD? What the H are you doing? <laughs> oh. It's called the Tellington Touch. It's a body awareness technique. All the top fertility experts swear by it. Did Hank ever did this to Peggy? Because if he hasn't, this feels very unfair in terms of Peggy. Be like, Peggy would be like, why did I got that sort of treatment when I was trying to get pregnant? Why is dog is so much important to you? Peggy, no. I can't move her for two hours. She just made it. Give me the freaking blanket. <laughs> why is she angry? Well, he did outside you. Oh, pizza. You wearing a cap. That says bounty hunter and there's a gun in the pizza. that anybody can tell. Oh my fucking god. Run bitch, run. Run the fuck away. <laughs> I gotta give Lady Bird her hormone biscuit. Let me see that. Don't eat it. You got it all wrong. Your parents had that dog a whole year before you came along. Oh, what? oh yeah. Fuck it, Bill. Mama was having trouble getting pregnant on account of your daddy's narrow doohickey. <laughs> you read of course. Well, they just gave up on ever having a child of their own. And, and they, they got a dog. Bill, you need to shut up. Why are you eating? What the fuck is it? What the fuck? Yeah. Bill, that's a dog's biscuit. They gave up on having a child of their own, but here I am. Yeah. A child. Yeah. A child doesn't just come out of nowhere. Because they fucked, and they were happy at the down at the time, maybe. Was I adopted? Well, I'll tell you, Bobby. If you get me some more of these cookies. Oh my God. Dog hormone biscuits, and that's the last one. And they're from a special store, and it's two miles away. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Bobby. That's the deal. 
I don't think Bob is adopted. No. No, no, no. What the fuck? Why is he eating dog food, yo? <laughs> Not the ladybird. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Those dogs will kill Ladybird. Ladybird's been accepted into an in vitro fertilization program up at Michigan State. Oh, in shit. vitro? What are you talking about? Test tube puppies. They're using this new experiment. Ah! <laughs> then why did you say no at that time? Kill, if you are thinking of flying your dog to Michigan to get her pregnant, do not bother buying a round trip ticket. Relax. <laughs> why not? Mom, can I stay with you for a few... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Strickland. Great news, Ladybird. We're going to... She called Mr. Strickland. Let's get one thing straight, Ladybird. You work for me. Ladybird is going to get gangbanged. No. Receipt from Dale Gribble, bounty hunter. Borrowed one dog, purpose <laughs> nab fugitive at 27 Whistler Terrace. At least he... Dale Gribble, bounty hunter. Damn it, Dale! He left a note, so that's pretty good. The ladybird is gonna get fucked. <laughs> Everybody wants ladybird now. At least ladybird is not outside. Freeze, bounty hunter. It's gone. Freeze! Oh shit! Get! What do I want? The left or that right? That was another deal. That was another deal. He was just looking in the mirror. Fucking hell. Both of them are scared. Is it? I am sick of you acting like you care more about that dog than you do about me. Exactly. I know. I knew that was that was troubling. I knew it. Care more about? Oh no, Ladybird. <laughs> I bet if I were stuck in a truck, you would leave me there. Peggy, how would you ever get so. stuck in a so. truck? I don't know. The handle could break off. The, that's not the point. She's just jealous. She's just a little jealous, and I understand her completely. Ladybird pregnant, and you never jumped through any hoops for me. What are you talking about? Well, you never put a thermometer in my ear. Mm. Of course not. Why would I? Oh, see, you admit you love her more. That yeah. I didn't do all that thermometer stuff with you because, you know, where's the romance? With Ladybird, it doesn't matter. She's only a dog. She's not my wife. You're my wife. Well, I know. I said you could have a test tube baby at that time. She would have been happy. I hear it. Why would you be jealous of Ladybird? <laughs> you don't want to get pregnant. Well, maybe she does. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'd rather have another baby right now than another puppy. Aww. That's why I've been trying to get Ladybird pregnant. Aww. I don't know what those men in that bar told me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we first got Ladybird? And you were so happy <laughs> that we had the best sex of our life? I just wanted that. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Bill? Aww. I kind of believe that playing with that puppy was the one thing that finally relaxed me in my urethra. <laughs> I just thought if we had a, another puppy in the house... And then we can have another baby. My urethra Oh, hi. Oh. Look at the dog. She's about to die. Hang in there, ladybird. Mama's coming. All right, yeah, goddamn. Easy. Easy. I'm cool, man. <laughs> are you? <laughs> you, you both are the same. You both are fucking scared of each other. Easy. I'm cool, man. <laughs> Ladybird, come jump. Nine times out of ten, they go right for the crotch. And I see ten dogs out there. <laughs> right for the crotch. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's perfect. That's it. Everything's fine. <laughs> Why are your arms shaking, Mr. Bounty Why Hunter? Why are you shaking? If that is your real name. Getting tired? Yes. Very tired. Just do a Mex Mexican standoff. Nice hat. Back at you. <laughs> jump, Ladybird, jump! I don't think that's gonna go any bit. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm glad the ladybird was not get got fucked by ten dogs. <laughs> here you go. 
And I'll say, no, you're not adopted. It's only eight? Those cost $26. God damn. Mr. Dotree, mm-hmm. am I adopted? No. No. <laughs> Tell you your middle name if you get me a glass of milk. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Why is Billy mm. dog food? Who knows? I've never tried dog food. Maybe it's delicious. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be the same old thing. Just like the old times. <laughs> but this time you have also have Luann and your son at home. <laughs> is Bill still outside? Probably watching them. <laughs> they became friends? Of course. They are exactly the same people. What are they watching though? Do we know what are they watching? Is that a famous tune? More SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Alrighty people, so that was this episode of King of the Hill. Where Peggy got jealous because Hank never did the things he was doing for the dog to her. And I under- totally understand her. But for some reason, in Hank's family, in the Hill's family, there's always a problem about narrow something. It could be narrow urethra or narrow vagina or whatever they called it. So the ladybird didn't got pregnant. Peggy, on the other hand, will they have a new baby now? Will they have a maybe? Maybe there's gonna be another addition to the Hills family really soon. Peggy is like, you never put Thermometer in my ear. You never covered me with a blanket. You never gave me a protein bar. I'm also glad that, you know, Lady Bird even got fucked by 10 dogs. Cause those dogs were fucking crazy. They were they were like, we never seen a girl in all our, all our life. This is our chance. This is finally our chance. But they got none. They got none. Dale, Dale found an agency that is not government, yet you still get to carry a gun and kill people. And he was fucking loving it. And then he found his first job where the client was exactly like him, scared as shit. And then at the end, they bonded of whatever TV show they were watching. But so yeah, the episode name was Pregnant Pause. And I was, I thought it was not going to be about Lady Bird, but it, it was about her. Don't know if a dog can get pregnant at that age. Probably, probably could. But yeah, that was this reaction of King of the Hill. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to watch a full-length reaction video, you can watch it on Patreon. That's been it for today, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow.